So now we hopefully have an idea of how the demand side of the economy is working, how we derive this aggregate demand function, as well as what causes these shifts in the AD curve. Now we can move to the supply side and the AS curve. And what I mean by AS curve is the aggregate supply curve. And so the aggregate supply curve is just going to relate the price level to the quantity that firms are willing to sell at that price level. So aggregate, uh, aggregate supply, I should say, relates the price level to how much firms are willing to sell quantity that firms are willing to sell at that price level. So we're going to draw it, you know, given a certain technology and factor prices. So what those two things are going to do is those are what's going to cause the shifts in this in this AS curve. given set of technology, so tech, maybe I should use a colon there, uh, technology, and factor prices. So remember, factor prices are like prices of factors of production, right? So think about, I'm a big driver of this model, what we're going to see is going to be wages. And so changes in wages or also, you know, changes in like the price of oil or other inputs are going to are going to cause this curve to shift. And so when we draw it originally, we're kind of drawing it, assuming some level of those things. All right, so the axes are the same as our aggregate demand curve. Perhaps that's not too surprising. Price level and real Y. And we're going to make this assumption that we have this upward sloping. Maybe it's not a crazy assumption, this upward sloping AS curve. And notice that I draw the curve relatively flat with low levels of real GDP, but then it gets steeper and steeper as real GDP goes up. And that is on purpose. We're going to have with low levels of real Y, firms can increase how much they produce and they don't have to, you know, the prices don't have to go up that high to, to produce more. So as we get closer and closer, and we're going to relate this to, to potential output and Y star eventually, but as real output gets higher and higher, maybe I should move my axis over a bit, but it's going to get steeper and steeper because firms have to raise their prices so much to be able to, um, to be able to, uh, or be, to be willing to supply more to the market. So now we kind of understand what this AS curve is showing, this relationship, we can talk about shifts in the AS curve. And so changes in technology or input prices are going to shift this AS curve around. In tech and input prices, or maybe I'll say factor prices to keep it consistent, cause shifts in the AS curve. So changes in, for instance, technology, if technology improves for the same price level, firms are willing to supply more, for instance. So let's do that example. Price level, real Y. Here's our, here's our AD curve, but we want to draw an AS curve. So here's our AS curve. And what's going to happen if technology improves for the same price level, firms are willing to supply more. So here this AS curve is shifting to the right. You know, if we had a increase in the factor prices, that's going to cause that AS curve to shift to the left. So I think it's pretty intuitive which direction it shifts. We don't have all those mechanics like behind the AD curve or we're not modeling them anyway. 
And so this is what the supply side of the economy looks like and what's going to shift this AS curve.